What's up everyone? It's Monday, July 19th, 2021. It's 2.11 in the afternoon and it's 91 degrees Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. Currently, I'm in the city of Glendale in Los Angeles County. This city is known for a lot of high-end retail stores and shopping. And right now, I'm in a shopping mall, outdoor shopping mall called the Americana and Grand. It's famous for its water fountain, synchronized water fountain displays. It's a very popular place for people to come and relax and do some shopping. This is the directory at the Americana. This building here is the Cheesecake Factory. I feel like there's more Cheesecake Factories here in LA than McDonald's. And if you go on this side, you can see a very nice waterfall. And this is a beautiful statue of something I don't know of. But very pretty outdoor shopping mall. I'll do a loop around this area so you know what it looks like. But it has stores ranging from Anthropology, Lululemon. There's a Samsung store in the back here, also a movie theater, among other things. And this over here are trolley tracks. I saw a trolley parked in a garage not too far, far from here. They probably bring it out for special occasions. Is this a Sephora store? Pretty large Barnes and Noble bookstore. Nordstrom is also here. And there's a very colorful chandelier all the way at the top there. Perhaps colorful is not the right word, but very magnificent. I don't really see too many colors on it. I love these gorgeous little shops on both side of me, uh, sides of me. Very pretty. 
This must be the centerpiece of this area at nighttime. Also, there are various apartments right above the shopping mall area. I reckon that those apartments cost a pretty penny. Here's a pizzeria, Rocco Pizza. Doesn't seem like it's open right now, but here you can see the prices for the different pizza they have. Quite pricey, $5 a slice for most of their slices. The most expensive one is $5.50 a slice. The Americana at Grand. Oh, I think I started off the video saying it was the Americana at Grand, but it's Grand. So, mistake on my part there. But this is the Brand Streets. There's a lot of shopping and restaurants on both sides of the street. valet parking available as well. Here's the famous Taiwanese restaurant chain, Din Tai Fung. They're known for their soup dumplings. There's also a good amount of outdoor seating available. This over here is the CBRE Masonic Temple Building. Across the street is all hotels and another strip mall. I'm actually going to cross over this way and head north on Glendale. I want to show you the downtown area of Glendale and then maybe I'll end at the Glendale Galleria shopping mall. Just a quick note if you need reliable cell phone service, it's not the greatest here. And that goes for both Verizon and T-Mobile. I know because I tried to live stream from here with both services and both did not have the greatest service. All right, we have the walk signal. Shake Shack.
actually a lot of restaurants on this side. Egg Slut, Joe and the Juice. Never heard of Big Chicken before, but it's here. It's a close-up of the Masonic Temple building. Every Masonic temple that I've seen has extremely gorgeous architecture. Seems like a nice little plaza. I'll make a right here on Harvard Street and we'll go further into the downtown area of Glendale. Green Street's demonstration projects. Nice to see that have plans to improve the city. Like over here, this looks really nice. To my right here is a museum. Or well, maybe not, it's the Glendale Central Library. It looked like a museum from the art display outside. Colonial swag. Some libraries could very well be museums. I think we need to push the button to cross. Yeah, let's just go. I don't see any cars coming. So this is the quieter side of Glendale compared to the areas where all the shopping malls are. Here's a spa. sushi place, Kumadori Sushi. Also, I've learned that Glendale has a large concentration of Armenian Americans. There's even an area close by here which people refer to as the Armenian Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is the world-famous spot where 
all the high-end retail stores are. The most uh, famous being the Golden Triangle and Rodeo Drive. And I've even up uploaded a video of that. So if you like to see it, you can search it up on my channel. It's pretty amazing and really nice and pristine. Seems to be plenty of public parking areas. Over here is the Glendale Marketplace building. Boba time, there's an ice cream spot there, as well as other eating places. Let's go up to Broadway because this looks pretty cool. Broadway. And King Taco across the street from me. Glendale's downtown is really impressive. Many modern buildings, along with some older ones like this one, the men's warehouse. And there's the Gabrella's New York City style pizza. Seems kind of neat. We're back at the Brand Street again. Pretty sure this is the bit, uh, busiest road in the city. Let's cross the street here. This Bloomingdale store is part of the Galleria, Glendale Galleria shopping mall, which I'll be entering towards the end of the video. Here we have the famous In-N-Out Burger which is famous all around California. And I tried an In-N-Out Burger. If you like to see it, you can visit my Action Kid Extra channel, where you can see what I thought of it as a native New Yorker. Here's the Glendale Marketplace again. I think we can cross now. Yep, let's do it. 
There's a beautiful waterfall in the front there. We'll check out the upper level after I showcase this waterfall. Simply marvelous. <laughs> now let's go up the escalator and see what's on the second floor. The three big shopping malls in the area are the Glendale Marketplace, the Americana at Brand, and the Glendale Galleria. They're all located within close proximity to each other. There's a five below and a Ross to the left of me. LA Fitness. Looks like we can't go down that way, and we can't go down that way either. Now what I'll do is I'll walk through the Galleria shopping mall. There's also a lot of buses which serve Glendale. Many of them come from Hollywood and downtown. Oh, I didn't even know. The first 90 minutes of parking are free at Glendale. But you kind of do have to pay for it in one way or another because I just realized that the sales tax here is 10 and a quarter percent compared to Los Angeles city of nine and a half percent. So you're paying 0.75% more in sales tax if you do park here. So now we'll go inside the Glendale Gallery shopping mall via the Bloomingdale's. It's actually a pretty relaxing shopping mall. On a hot day like today, it's also good to come in here and you get some air conditioning. Mm -hmm. 
Bloomingdale's has a lot of selection here. Different fashion, different clothes. Large department store. There's also a Louis Vuitton store right inside the entrance to the mall there. And here's the jewelry section of the Bloomingdale's. One thing I really like about these Bloomingdale's and the shopping mall itself are the skylights. They really let in a lot of natural light. There's the Louis Vuitton and there's a line to get in. I'm really surprised. So here's the main shopping mall. It's pretty long and has a lot of different stores to it. And as, as I said before, the skylights are really what make this mall. Plenty of natural light to go around. And these cubes are also a really nice touch to the mall fashion and environment. Here's a directory of what stores are available here. Sorry about the glare, but you can blame the sunlight for that. Also, um, the display isn't really a good resolution. I try to look for stores there and some of the numbers were a little bit blurry. have some selections of places to eat up there. Panda Express, Genghis Khan, Barbecue and Grill. This isn't the main food court area though. The main food court is located on the other side of the shopping mall towards uh, my left. The way this mall is set up is a little bit strange because it kind of wraps around the Americana at Brand. Here's the Central Avenue exit and parking level. So if you want to go to the other side of the mall, you have to keep going straight and then make a left. Effectively, we go completely around the Americana Mall. This shopping mall brings in a lot of business and a lot of people into the city and employs a lot of people. So you see here, Target, Food Court, Apple Store, all to the left, as well as Uniqlo. There's the Coach Store. And this is the other section of the mall, which goes all the way down that way towards the south. We just went from east to west. I don't know if I show you the Macy's over there, but that's one of the anchors of the shopping mall with the Starbucks coming soon.
The food courts are down and to the right of us. When I have the opportunity, I'd like to try to find a place to go downstairs, a staircase or escalator, something. Sometimes these malls intentionally design themselves so you actually walk more in order to see more of the show, uh, stores and spend more money. Here's the Apple store. The Lego store, famous for missing pieces in the box. Not when it's new, but if your brother or sister or family member gets a hold of the Legos, there's bound to be a few missing pieces there or lost pieces. So the food court is over to my right. It's also a corner spot for the Dunkin' Donuts. So on the other side of the shopping mall, there's Target and JCPenney. Those are the other anchors of the mall. And over here on this section is the food court. We'll do a quick run through, through the food court. This actually looks pretty good. Masi's Kebab. There's also a Panda Express over there, another one. That's the second one I've seen inside this mall. Stone Oven. There's a place called Bento Box in the corner. Cheese Steak Place. Hot Dog on a Stick, which I know is popular in Los Angeles. It may have even originated here. There's five guys in the corner as well as Chipotle. And uh, there's more stuff over there in that corner. Let's check that out. This is LA Italian Kitchen. Doesn't seem to be too popular. Public restrooms are over on this side. Over here we've got the Kira Revolving Sushi Bar. Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. McDonald's. Let's walk all the way to the end of the other side where JCPenney and Target is so you can get a sense of just how large this shopping mall is.
Here's the Disney store. K-pop station, look at that. There's even some South Korea reference over here. There was a Tokyo store before there. Salt and fries. So there's even eating places scattered throughout the mall as you're walking around. Don't forget there's still an entire upper level there. That's incredible. That's JC Penny. It seems like the skylights on this side aren't as bright as the eastern side of the mall. Now I wonder where JC Penny is, because this is just Target. They advertise JC Penny as well on this side of the mall. JC Penny on the right. Nope, it's not. It's the parking level. But I don't think I need to find JC Penny anymore. I feel like this is a good spot to end the video of Glendale, California. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.